Hey guys, William Brandt here, and I just wanted to shoot a quick video going over how the new PayPal integration with ClickFunnels works. I've had a few people asking me about that. So if you go ahead over and view my screen right now, I'll show you what it looks like going through a funnel with the new PayPal integration, and then we'll go into how you can get it set up. So here's how it would re react. You would set it up, it would be on a order form just like any other payment integration. Uh, I would enter my name, my name, and so this is front end product, and I have a, a bump on there. So just go ahead and click the PayPal button. It'll open up this modal here where you can enter your PayPal login. And let's go ahead and log in here. Go ahead and log in and say, do you, how do you want to pay for it? Click pay now and it will process that payment and go to the next page in the funnel where if you had any yes links, apparently I have it duplicated here on this page, which is just a test page for this. But, um, you know, again, just hit the PayPal button. It will pop up with this modal for the one-click upsell. So it's kind of a modified one-click upsell. It'll keep you logged in so you don't have to log in again. And it just say, you know, all you have to do is click the Pay Now button. Um, so it works similar to the one-click upsell, but it does have that extra step in there where you have to click the, you know, approval once on on PayPal side and that's a limitation of PayPal's API but that's it you know here I am I'm paid um, I've paid we can go back in to our ClickFunnels account here and unlike the previous version it will show the stats it does take well it takes up to 20 minutes for the stats to show up it does show under the sales you know, I have front end plus the order bump and PayPal upsell. So that's how it works. It, like I said, it does take a few minutes for the stats to show up, but I was hoping to show them in here. It does show up in your stats, uh, which the previous PayPal integration did not. So that's huge. And it also will work with Backpack if you're running an affiliate program. So that's how it works. That's how it's going to look like to your customers. Let's go ahead and dig in how you can get that set up inside of your account. All right, so now you've seen how it's supposed to work. Let's go ahead through how you can set this up in your account. What you'll want to do is first go over to your payment gateways. You'll add a new payment gateway and click on PayPal version two. Here you'll be asked for a client and a client secret. And how you'll get that is if you go over to, let me bring this down, developer.paypal.com. Once you've logged in there, um, and it's the same login for your PayPal account, you can just log into your regular PayPal account first, and then go over to developer.paypal.com. And you'll go to My Apps and Credentials. Here you'll want to scroll down and where it says REST API apps. If you don't have one yet, you would just click on create app and that will create one. And that will give you your uh, credentials here. So the client ID and then the client ID secret. Here is Sandbox. So if you're using this for testing uh, and you only have the one PayPal account, then you would just need to go and set one up, one of these integrations up in sandbox mode. That way you can do sandbox testing. When you're ready to go live, you want to make sure that you go over to the live tab here and make sure you're getting your client ID. I'm going to paste that in there and then get the secret. Copy that and paste that in there. So if you're doing the test credentials, you want to check this off, or if you're doing live credentials, go ahead and leave this turned on. And then 
create your account. So that's it, it is integrated. So now you need to integrate it into your funnel. All right, so for this, I'm just gonna make a copy of one of my funnels that I already have. And so here I have an order page. I'm just gonna go in and create a product like I would any other product. And we'll just call this, once it loads up, we'll call this PayPal front end. Select PayPal version two, and let's just say this is a dollar. It's a one-time fee. And create the product. It's as easy as that. Now, there is an order bump on the page, so we can add that. PayPal order bump. And make sure to select that. We'll say this is 50 cents one time and this is a bump create product and then we'll go to the OTO page create the product and again just like creating any other product PayPal upsell let's say this is two dollars that's one time. You can do subscription payments as well. Um, actually, the that is a subscription, so we'll just say this is monthly. That's so done once a month, no trial. So this will be charged two dollars every month, and that's it. Create the product. That's all you need to do to set it up. You, now you're ready, you have your funnel set up, and you are able to accept PayPal payments with the modified one-click upsells. It's two clicks, but it's still a lot better. You don't, Your customer doesn't have to fill in their information a second time. It's automatically there. They just click the button and click to agree. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment down below. And if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.